In our science classes, we are taught about large rock formations called meteorites that hover far out in space or pierce through the dark atmosphere of space at high velocities, smashing into anything that gets in their way, be it another rock formation or rather a planet, one that could most likely be ours. If meteorites are slamming themselves against anything in their way, does that mean they are dangerous? If so, is there a meteorite that's headed for our planet? If so, will it be the first to crash on our planet? And should humans be afraid of what its impact could cause? For anyone asking the questions about if these rock formations are something that could potentially cause grave destruction on our planet, on a large scale, you would need to understand what truly these rocks are and why, on a scale, they could cause grave damage and on another, they are pretty harmless to us. NASA has been able to identify three major types of space rock bodies that have been revealed to the public with several photos. These are namely comets, asteroids and meteoroids. These formations of rocks are very unique in their own way, whereby comets are described by NASA as dirty snowballs formulated from a mix of ice, rock, gas and dust. The dirty snowball is used as a term to refer to their inner core nucleus found in the center of all comets. We then have our asteroid being tagged as the oddballs of space by NASA. Asteroids are mostly formulated from rock, but some are rather composed of space metals like nickel and iron. Asteroids are believed to be the leftovers from planet formations like our planet, Earth. And unlike their celestial counterparts that take up a spherical shape, they could exist in a wide variety of shapes, from cigar-shaped to oddly plain. We then have meteoroids, the oids, ites and ores, from space as NASA calls them. They are regarded as much smaller formations that don't take up as much mass as their space rock siblings are actually rather dependent on them. That's right, through space studies, NASA has been able to discover the mystery behind the birth of this space chuck burning through space in most instances and has revealed to the public that they are parts of comets or asteroids that fell apart either through wearing over time or force from the colliding astral bodies. So for the question of their body formations, meteoroids will take the formation of anything they've been born from, or rather, have the same formation as that of their parents' formations. You may be asking the question now, What's the difference between a meteorite, meteor, and a meteoroid? And you'll find the answer to be interchangeable. As explained earlier, meteoroids are rather broken chunks from asteroids and comets that float through space aimlessly, either getting caught in gravity or slamming into other astral bodies. Look up at the skies at night when they are clear enough, you'll see the astral projections of stars twinkling in their distances. If you are lucky enough, you'll spot a meteor, or rather shooting star zipping through space at incredible speeds, leaving a trail of light from their astral projections. Meteors are rather shooting stars that traverse through space at incredible speeds, exploring the vast deep as they burn out into oblivion. And lastly, we have meteorites. These, just like meteoroids or meteors, are broken pieces of larger rock formations that have strode the scapes of spaces either passing in too close to a planet or rather projected towards one and getting caught in its gravitational pull, plunging through its atmosphere until it hits the surface of said planet. Now you understand the origin of these rock formations and why they act in the way they do. Are they dangerous to the welfare of the planet? You would be surprised that the only reason you haven't been killed by a falling meteorite 
is rather that they haven't landed in the area you live in or they haven't hit you right where you stand. Depending on the mass, it is believed by NASA that if a meteorite is larger than 25 meters but smaller than one kilometer, it would be large enough to deal local damage, and if it's larger than two kilometers, you would experience a worldwide event. With this reply from NASA, the question if meteorites are deadly seemed rather answered as yes. You could imagine what a stressful event it would be if the sky suddenly rained down meteorites on human cities, hitting the spots where it hurts the most. But you must be thinking that you are rather safe since you don't hear the news ranting about meteorites killing people and taking lives, and for the most part, you would be right actually. Meteorites, although being potentially dangerous, depending on size and area of impact, haven't had their aim focused on human civilization as it's been estimated that these meteorites fall 70% of the time in the vast seas. Though it isn't a choice they make being unconscious bodies, it's just that the Earth is made of 71% water, making it a much easier spot for impact. That said, it's estimated that our planet is hit with a total of 6,100 meteorites every year and you can expect more to come. If the calculations by scientists hold right, then it means that meteorites have been a thing for as long as possible and have been hitting the Earth's surface for as long as possible. But if we are to talk about large-scale rock masses capable of destroying a whole planet, we would then have to look at their parent formations known as asteroids or comets. Asteroids or comets have been feared and termed as planet destroyers or extinction chain reactors. This is what is believed to have caused the mass extinction of dinosaurs in the past. The Chicxulub impactor is an asteroid or comet that is believed to have struck the surface of the Earth about 66 million years ago, coming in from the outer half of the solar system's main asteroid belt. It's also believed that this crater is located deep below the surface of the Earth, buried in layers of sediment and rock off the coast of Mexico that spans 93 miles and goes 12 miles deep. These massive giants are seen as a threat to humans, but also the reason that led to the creation of them as well. It's speculated that after this catastrophic event that wiped out the existence of dinosaurs and then in return acted as a catalyst for the creation of life again, which diversified to become humans. NASA for one recognizes the threat these Earth killers pose to not only humanity but rather every living organism on Earth, as another chain reaction of extinction could take place if our planet is to be struck by another rock giant in the right place. This has led NASA scientists to squander on the possibility of avoiding an asteroid impact, a step they believe will help humans in the future fight against these rock bodies. Though NASA accepts that current technology would not be able to stop the impact from a crater like Chicxulub Impactor, and probably not much into the future as they carry a lot of force in their wake, they believe they could save the Earth from massive damages if they can repel much smaller rock bodies coming at Earth. Plans have already begun to launch a satellite that will slam into an asteroid heading for the Earth with hopes that it will change its trajectory and knock it off course. If this mission is a success, it would be seen as a massive win for humanity. Now that we know about that and how these rocks can be fatal to the fate of life on Earth, are there any rocks out there we should be afraid of? Ever heard of the Chelyabinsk meteor? This is a massive meteor that is estimated to have caused damage on Earth worth $30 million. Striking the Earth on the 15th of February 2013, it's been declared the largest meteor to hit Earth since the 1908 Tunguska event. It's also known that the meteor comprised a mass of about 10,000 tons and had an initial diameter of 17 to 20 meters. This was a worldwide shocking event that really put people on their toes 
of when the next big rock could hit planet Earth again, and if humanity will be lucky enough to survive its quake. There have been other incidents that are just coming to light recently, such as Google Maps, Explorers, and when normal day people spot massive craters on Earth that signifies a grave hit to Earth from millions to billions of years ago. Already, a recent discovery revealed that an asteroid the size of three-story buildings passed by Earth quite recently, and not even NASA took notice of this event. That said, it's believed that more are on their way towards Earth, but they are believed to rather just slide by Earth with no actual contact, like a discovery of an asteroid about the size of the Eiffel Tower is estimated to be crossing by Earth soon by December the 11th, with a length of 2.4 million miles away from Earth. But many have worried about these crosses, asking when or whether they might actually hit. Dr. Brad Tucker, an astrophysicist and cosmetologist, has expressed his views in an interview with Newsday that an asteroid hitting Earth is actually guaranteed, although right now it's just a question of when, as there aren't any known ones worth buzzing about. Until then, humans can rest easy, but not too easy, as there are asteroids out there headed our way and plans to destroy everything in its wake.